Hello. So in this session, let's understand the architecture of JSON. See, this is not the complete, you know, uh, kind of systematic architecture of JSON. But just to explain you, you know, this is the uh, the most common, you know, kind of uh, rough diagram you can understand. So you see here. Uh, let me just uh, just give me one second. Okay, this is I don't like it, but yeah. So this is you see here there is this circle okay and inside this circle we call this circle as location area so this is my location area or more precisely i can call it as bss in the previous session i i, I told you that this is nothing but base uh, subsystem okay and inside the base subsystem we have bts we have bsc and then we have something called as trau okay so this is bsc or more precisely you can say location area so now this location area having clusters from the cellular system chapter you know that there is something called a cell and in, and when you connect to or more cell we call it as clusters or honeycomb okay so this is this is this basic thing is my cluster here with three cells and each cell is consist of or is having something called as mobile station which is nothing but your device okay so this is the mobile station and it also consists of bts which is nothing but your transmitter antenna with the help of transmission and reception can be done so your mobile is connected with one bts or transmitter antenna okay now you see that each bts or every bts is connected with one bsc here okay so if this is my location area one then this is going to be the location area location area two which is having their own BT, bsc so each bts or every bts of this cluster is connected with with one bsc and this location area two ha is having bsc and you know all other bscs are connected with one single msc so this msc is going to be only one inside the city so this is the biggest office okay so this is my one msc which handles a different number of psc and then at the network one we have something called as gateway gateway mobile switching center this is my gateway mobile switching center and from the computer network you can understand that gateway uh, the work of gateway is to connect two different network you understand this so if i have this this network network one and if i want to connect with some other network so this is the net, this is the other network here here this is the other network then i need some gateway okay so this connection can be forwarded with the help of this gateway then at the receiver side we have another gateway which which takes this connection forwarded to the msc forwarded to the bsc forwarded to the transmitter antenna forwarded to that particular user now we are getting it so this user one wants to connect to this user two here then he need to he need to uh, he need to you know generate that signal it goes to the bts goes to the bsc goes to the msc goes to the gmsc and then this gmsc you know uh, send the signal to the to the to the receiver side gmsc forwarded to the msc forwarded to the bsc to the bts and that it to the user too okay so now we have another entities here somehow we call it as a databases so this thing is the data base of msc so msc handles four types of database and these databases i abbreviated those database databases here hlr is home location register vlr is visiting location register and eir is equipment identity register and authentication uh, auc is authentication center these are the four databases handled by msc you understand the architecture i hope you understand it uh, i hope i'm so sorry <laughs> where is it i hope you understand this diagram this is this is just for an explanation okay so now in the next session we're going to understand uh, you know uh, this uh, what do you mean by msc that is your mobile switching center which comes under the second component that the second component is uh, is a network and switching system nss which which comprises of the mobile switching center okay so let's understand nss in the next session i hope you like it if you like it then thumbs up 
thank you so much for listening to me and if you haven't subscribed my channel i insist you to please subscribe it if you have any doubt you can put it into the comment section i am ready to help you thank you so much